We will be using the font grouping on the Home tab to change the appearance of text or apply different formats to text. An important thing to remember is if you change the format before you type, the text you type after that will take on that format. If you've already typed text in, you'll have to select the text in order to apply the formats. Let's take a look at how this might work. So for example, if I wanted to type a new line in this document and I wanted the text to be in a different font, and let's just say that I want to select a font that's called um, Arial Black, and I want the size to be 16. So I haven't typed anything yet, but you can see where my cursor is that this is now Arial, except I misspelled it, now Arial Black 16. Now, if I want to change this text after I've typed it, I would have to select the text first, and then I could change anything about the format. I could change the font to a different font name. Let's say that I just wanted to use Arial Narrow instead. While it's still selected, I could change the size. So I could change it to size 8 or I could make it size 22. Notice as you scroll down over the size, you see a demonstration of the size. I could also change the color of the text, again, because it's already selected. And I could change it to a nice dark blue. I could make the text bold. I could make it in italic. Or I could underline the text. Now, since the text is already selected, I could turn any of those off by clicking on the button again. So let's say that I don't want it in bold. I would take the bold format off. So again, if you want to change the, the format of your text, the uh, fonts, the size, the color, before you type, you, do, you make your selection, and then from that point on, on your cursor, it will take on that characteristic. If you want to select something that you've already typed and change it, you select it first, and then you make the changes. Now Microsoft has added some nice features in this Word product. If you notice here, under Text Effects here on the font grouping, if I click on this, I can select a specific style of, of text. I can also select text and change it all to be back just to one color. I can change the color of the font. I can not make it bold. I can change the name of the font. And then once I'm finished with my selection, I can click here and change it. Now a nice thing you can do is learn how to undo what you've just done. Up here on this quick access bar we have the undo button. Each time you click it, it will undo the change you made the time before. It's a very handy button to remember. And on the other side is Redo, which would redo what you had just undone. So undo and redo. One other tip I would give you is the highlighter. So you might find something that you would like to have highlighted in the text. Again, I select the text, and here I could use the highlighter pen to highlight just one word. So again, all of these character formats are found on the Home tab in the font grouping.